Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and we're going to take a look in on the bait containers for the African night crawlers, and also a look in and see what the Fermi bag little mammoth is doing. So, as usual, anytime there's a squash, it seems like you get 100% germination. So that's just, that is what it is. So let's, let's start looking at the bait containers. I've reduced the three different original um, African Nightcrawler um, totes into one tote. And so now I'm down to this. So I don't think it's, it's not a large, large amount of worms. But there are four of them. Oh, that's a pretty good worm ball there. So you can still see quite a bit in there. We can look and see. Very little worms. The worms are little. But it seems like a decent amount right there. That's a good amount. I'm getting there. Shouldn't be too much longer. I've sifted three quarters of it and harvested the, the castings. So now the only thing that's in the container now is the over 1 12th screen. So that's, I'll dig these out. Always got the ones that are sitting in the bottom. Alright. with the rest of that later. Let's look and see what the bin itself is doing. Alright, so we've looked at all of our volunteers here. Let's get a little bit closer. A little hanger on there. Let's get a little bit closer into the bin. And then we can see what the worms that are currently living in here are doing. They're making very quick work of that bedding that I put in there. It is the prepared bedding that I use, uh, you know, regular office paper and magazines and, and stuff like that. I haven't been wanting to feed them a whole bunch because I know that they're getting the inputs from these bait containers. And I didn't want to overwhelm the system and make it stinky. But today, there wasn't a whole lot of that food left in those bait containers. And I think we've got a good enough amount of worms here that I can go ahead and feed them. So I'm going to go grab that bag of food and We'll be right back. All right, got about a half a gallon of whatever was in the kitchen this week. So I did do a little bit of canning. Um, all right, let's remember to get the banana sticker off before we feed it to the worms. Makes life easier later. Now the tea bag stem, or stems, that's not a stem, it's a string. The string from the tea bags will decompose 100%. It's kind of noticeable for the first couple of months, but it is cotton and it does get completely taken off. 
the worms will eat it. So here is the tomato stems and tomato skins from when I did some canning. Was it last week, I think? So green tomato. So I'm going to just spread this out in the central area here. And then I'm going to put some of the prepared bedding on top. Okay, this bedding's been sitting for a couple weeks now, so this should go pretty quick. A little bit more. Because even though it's a bag system, I want to make sure that the food is, is covered up and doesn't attract anything. So I've been kind of letting these guys settle down, see if I can encourage them to come out on their own. There's some, there's a few more. That was just a quick look at the Vermibag Low Mammoth, as well as dumping out the container of the worm bait cups. Um, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.